Megan. <laughs> Cassie. Jesse. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Ali. Aaron. Sophia. <laughs> Lindsay. Rachel. Bridget. <laughs> Joseph. Wesley. Jiho. Corey Collins. Mitch. Uh, ben. <laughs> oh, here's it. Josh. Ray. Croatia is amazing. Uh, the country is beautiful. The people are super fun and super easy to talk to. And the food is fantastic. So over, and beautiful. Did I mention beautiful? It was pretty, it was just a good trip. Uh, and uh, I think that's just a really nice thing to see. It may be an increasingly secular country, but I don't think the desire for God is decreasing in any way, shape, or form. So I felt really welcomed and a part of the family here, and I just really loved being here a lot. The more we kept talking, they were just amazed. They were like, wow, we don't have that here. Like, we don't have anything like that here. And towards the end of the conversation, Jesse and I were leaving, and we're like, well, there is focus. So the same group that we work with in the States is here. So they thought it was really cool, and they were excited to check it out. Uh, we walked up to these four girls and kind of wanted to get to know them, and immediately they were like, yeah, let's just go get coffee right now. So it's like we literally just introduced our names and that's all they knew about us and they just immediately wanted to get to know us and um, yeah, ask questions about our lives and we had the chance to do the same. And so just like a willingness to kind of stop what they were doing and be interrupted and um, just welcome us into their country was something that really struck me right off the bat. Just realizing that like he was already like looking into it before then and God was already convicting his heart and like we were just put here to be that final like stimulus, that final uh, thing to like push him towards pursuing Christ and push him towards pursuing the gospel. It's always, the Lord did a lot in me. I grew a lot this summer. And I think for our students this summer, uh, what I've heard consistently was the stepping out of their comfort zones on a campus and becoming more confident in sharing the gospel. And one in particular that really hit me and I thought was interesting is one girl uh, heard some music here and she had only attended, you know, Latin, well not Latin, but just Catholic masses her whole life. And the first thing she said when the church service was over was, I didn't know church could be fun. Hey, you know, we're a couple of Americans. We're speaking to students about, about, um, about some of their culture and their views and their spirituality. Do you have a few minutes to uh, have a conversation with us? And he looks me dead in the eyes and he comes up from his phone and he's like, he's like, I don't want to speak to any religious zealots. And then he does this classic, like, smirk. It's like, 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 and we were just like blown away. Literally, I was like, I like flew backwards 20 feet and hit the wall. Like, like it was insane. We just got absolutely destroyed. And yeah, that was a time, that, that was one of my war stories, yeah. I walked up to two guys and, um, they were on their phones and we walked up and said, hey, we're from America. We're just trying to learn and meet people, learn the culture here. And they put their phones away, which doesn't happen in America. And we had a long conversation. The conversation was probably over an hour long. But from the students I've talked to, I, I do sense a genuine desire and a genuine longing for the deeper questions of life. Like, what is the meaning of life? Is there a God? What's my purpose? And the people are very warm and relational and they just love, they'll stop in, in the middle of their day and sit with you for hours on coffee and that's probably my favorite thing about Croatia. I wasn't even sure if I was going to come or not but I definitely like had some people talk me into it and um, I like don't regret it one bit. Everyone that I met was absolutely so warm, so friendly, um, just open and willing to talk to anyone, really. And um, yeah, I made some really good friends here, so I was excited to do that. <laughs> uh, so having a team like this was, uh, was really great. Had, us, had this great feeling that we had like a team of people who were there with us, uh, even if it was for six weeks, but it was longer than anything we had so far. This has been extremely helpful. I cannot emphasize how helpful it was. For six weeks, Vienti and I actually had a team, <laughs> um, and a large team to work with. And I knew that every single day, every single morning, there were people out there um, at schools, meeting new people, having conversations, setting up coffee appointments, talking about the gospel. 
And you know, Vienti and I being two people just don't have the capacity to cover all the schools and um, all those different students. And so it was just such a joy to think even, wow, there are people out there right now sharing the gospel with the Croatian students. And then just trusting the Lord that he's gonna do whatever he wants to do. The answer is yes, go. I would definitely recommend it to people. I think it surprised me how much how much people don't know about um, Jesus here and I think it was really encouraging one to see how open people were to hearing about the Lord and um, how easy it was to talk to people about the gospel and everything. I would totally tell them to come here to Croatia and that is because there are people here who are ready to listen. Mm -hmm.